Our producers would like to thank Salon Rouge, located at 700 Elmwood Avenue. Give one of their stylists a call today at 716-884-1010. Again, that's 716-884-1010. Or visit them on the web at salonrouge.style. Thank you for supporting television and film arts at SUNY Buffalo State. All right, boys, we're going to blow minds next week. We need a killer set. When I say we, you say rock. We rock. 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 What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, I think I just got band practice at Steven's house, but. You're still in that band with Ruben and Steven? What's the name of it again? Oh, we don't have a name yet. Kyle, you've been in this band for how long and you still don't have the name? <laughs> What's so funny? I found out that Jared is an event planner. And he's hosting a music festival, so he signed us up! To watch? To play, bitch! What? Why would you do that? We've been practicing for years. Even if people do boo and laugh us off stage, Ruma can just take his shirt off. It doesn't matter how we got here. What matters is that we're here. And what matters is that we're gonna kick some big hard ass. I knew. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. So today I am joined here by Louie in the kitchen. We are cooking up some delicious breakfast treats. I know holidays are right around the corner. Sorry for the interruption, Mike, but we do have breaking news of a heavy front hitting the west coast within the hour. Please expect strong winds and rain throughout the rest of the day. Remain away from windows and doors as we are receiving reports that wind gusts could be up to 57 miles per hour. Stay tuned as we find out more. Good morning, America. My name is Julie Simmons and I'll be your host for today's weather. It looks like we are seeing a front coming off the coast right now. Do expect strong winds and rain coming from that today. It doesn't look like it'll be... Yeah, it's strange of course. It's a strange weather pattern that is on the west coast right now. We have more information on the weather. The front that hit the west coast is spreading across America. Expect low light and heavy winds as it reaches the east coast. In the next couple of hours, the storm that we are now calling Daniel will hit New York City. The world scientists have no idea where this cloud has come from. All they know is it won't be long before the world's environment changes. There have been several reports and sightings of things moving in the dark. The best of the windows and now she's gone.
All clear? Clear! All clear! Can I get some help over here? How is he, Doc? He's behaving like some sort of neurotoxin. I want to ask my daughter to be sure, but I think it's blood poisoning. You know, those things must have some sort of defense mechanism, like, like a lizard or a tropical plant. I mean, Right, Sergeant, if you could get one of those bodies, I could dissect it. I mean, it's actually quite fascinating. Yeah, it's fucking fascinating. Look, can you fix him or not? I'm a biologist, not a medical doctor. I'd say he's beyond fixing at this point, but... We'd want to make sure with my daughter Jenny, she's the medical student. But we gotta find her first. This little detour for your daughter is the reason he's dying, you scum fuck! Dex! Take a walk! Go clear her downstairs. Go! Sir, yes, sir. Rita, take Chrysler to the ground floor. Watch out of contact command. Come on. Chaos. This is Hitman 21 Alpha. We have multiple casualties. Our transportation is Bubar. We need immediate pickup at coordinates 770 Niner, November 426 Echo. Please respond. Over. Don't move. Easy there. Drop the rifle. We can talk about I said this. Drop the rifle. Dropping the rifle. Looking for a Jennifer Kreitzer. You know her? You're here for Jenny? So you do know her. Is this really necessary? You had a gun pointed at his head 20 minutes ago. What was I supposed to have done? I'd start with loading the gun next time. Who are you? My name is Emily. I'm a nurse. Jenny told us you'd be coming. We just weren't sure when. And honestly, we hoped there'd be a lot more of you. There used to be. Who's we? There's about a dozen of us at the next ski lodge over, mainly sick and injured. I came back for the first aid kits. They sent you out, alone, with an empty pistol? I wasn't alone. It was loaded when I left. The woods are littered with sundowners. Sundowners? That's what we call them. They showed up when the sky went black. Can, can we get back to Jenny? I mean, is, is she OK? I don't know. She, she was packing the car when I left. You have a car? How do I know you're not lying? How do I know you're not full of shit? Doctor, this is your family ski resort, right? Is he, he knows what I'm talking about. He knows where it is. They're all there. She, she's telling the truth. The only way she'd know my family owns this place is if Jenny told her. Going around. Planning on bringing everybody in that cabin? We don't have the ammo to protect a bunch of civilians. You got a better idea? Huh? Communications are dead. Help is not coming. We stay here and rot or we keep moving.
Decks are tired. You leave at 0600 hours. Get some rest, everyone. Are you leaving? Are you, are you leaving me? You don't think they're gonna ask what happened to me? Without me there, they'll shoot you on sight. Sarge, with all due respect, she is a nurse. Maybe she'll know what's going on with Bobby. At least keep him alive till we get where we're going. Bobby's not coming. What? Bobby's dead, son. He died last night. I can't guarantee you're gonna be any safer with us. In fact, probably the opposite. So you carry your own weight or I will leave you behind. You understand me? We'll see you soon, man. knowing what time it is. Huh. So we're past 1500. 308. Sorry. They went out on their own terms. They're the lucky ones. I wouldn't necessarily call them the lucky ones. Oh, the fuck? Oh, Get it off! Yeah, I want it!
my assignment is to keep you alive, goddammit. And believe me when I tell you, I will leave you here. I'd rather let one of my men die. Do you understand me? Make a big deal about no. it. Come on, we have Listen to, to me. Go. You get to that goddamn ski lodge. Right, you contact command. You get back on the road. That's an order, Marine. Go. I'll catch up if I can. Go. Just go. left me. Shit. They're still here. They're still here. They've got to be here. She wouldn't have left us. It was her mother. Chaos. This is Hitman 21 Alpha. We have sustained several casualties and transport is down. We are still escorting the scientists. We need immediate assistance. Over. Hitman 2 and Alpha, what's your current location? Over. Grid 7790, November. <laughs> What's that? There's 
something down there. Jenny! Scream again. I fucking dare you. I'm sorry. Nobody should have to see that. I knew she wouldn't leave it. Hitman 2 1 Alpha, this is Chaos. Do you copy? Over. Hitman 2 1 Alpha, this is Chaos. Do you copy? Over. Chaos, this is Hitman 2 1 Alpha. Go ahead. What's your status? Over. We've arrived at a ski lodge and. We've encountered one of those things in some kind of a nest. Everyone here is dead. We have potential transport, but I am re requesting additional support. Over. Hitman 2 and Alpha were unable to reach your location to provide any support. New orders are to destroy the nest and continue with the mission as planned. Over. How's your hand? What hand? Whose car was that out there? It was Jenny's. You keep the keys on her? Always. No. No, no, we can't. We have to. Those keys are either in her pocket or down that sundowner's throat. What's our progress on the car? Well, I think I solved our key problem, but you're not gonna like it. Jesus, what'd the man say? They want us to destroy the creature and the nest. Finally? It's about goddamn time I get to blow something up. There's another unit 40 clicks north of here. If we can get away, we can rendezvous with them and keep heading up north. And, and what about me? Military always needs nurses. I'm not an actual nurse. I'm, I'm just a student. I don't know what they're going to do with me either. So. Either way... We'll need all the help we can get.
Here's your fucking sample, Doc.
Action! Action! Uh, this has been the best part of my day for the past week, every day. I just really look forward to it, just coming here and being on set with you guys and just working on this project. It just feels really, really great. Really just being on set, being able to be in the costume and kind of watch as the story unfolds itself and comes to life. That whole process is just very, very special to me. And it's cool being able to be on a more professional set and see it kind of all play out. I was really inspired by the Lights Out demon in that movie. Um, I liked the more silhouette aspect to it and I think in this case, since the, this world is dark 24 seven, I felt like creating some kind of demon that was overall black and really focused on the silhouette, the shapes of the claws. I'm just really glad it's makeup, not real, because <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> It's been really, really great to be here. Sets are like absolutely amazing and this crew's working really, really hard. It kind of blogs my mind that you guys are still students. Like, <laughs> I think um, you guys are very professional. You know what you're doing. Daryl's been great with wardrobe. The makeup girls have been fantastic. Working with the actors is probably the most fun I had on set. Super collaborative. They brought something new every single day. Super easy to work with. Just really professional. They brought their A game every single day. The biggest praise I could give Zach is that he is a great collaborator, which I think is always very, very important whenever you're working on anything in this kind of form. Um, just having somebody that's willing to talk to you about a specific line or a scene and just being open to an actor's idea, it's just, it's a really nice thing because it makes it, it opens up that pathway for communication. I would really like to compliment everyone on how professional they are. People are willing to compromise, but ultimately not sacrifice the vision itself. My favorite part of production so far, I think, has been seeing everybody working together, being extremely organized, and seeing the scenery, the sets, how those have developed. What I learned that I would use in future projects will have to be the collaboration, because um, as an editor, I've would always edit my own projects. I didn't have like any assistants or like a colorist or a composer. Like having a post-production team like that is like very helpful and a stressful process. It's a lot of fun watching everyone work together and collaborate and really be artists because that's what we're here to do. We're here to be artists. That's a wrap of Maelstrom. Woo!